Hi, my name is Jennifer Bauman, and I'm a librarian here at the Potawa Public Library. Today I'd like to read with you Jingle Dancer by Cynthia Leidich Smith, illustrated by Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Hua Hu. Jingle Dancer. Tink, 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 sang cone-shaped jingles sewn to Grandma Wolf's dress. Every Grandma bounce step brought clattering tinks as light blurred silver against jingles of tin. Jenna daydreamed at the kitchen table, tasting honey on fry bread, her heart beating to the broom, 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 broom of the powwow drum. Again and again, Jenna watched a videotape of Grandma Wolf jingle dancing. When Grandma bounce stepped on TV, Jenna bounce stepped on family room carpet. But Jenna's dress would not be able to sing. It needed four rows of jingles. As sun fetched morning, Jenna danced east to Great Aunt Sis's porch. Jenna's bounce steps crunched autumn leaves, but her steps didn't jingle. Once again, Great Aunt Sis told Jenna a Muscogee Creek story about Fat. Although other animals had said he was too small to make a difference, Fat won a ball game by flying high and catching a ball in his teeth. Rising sunlight reached through a window pane and flashed against, what was it? Hanging in Aunt Sis's bedroom, jingles on a dress too long quiet. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Aunt Sis's dress would lose its voice. You may. Aunt Sis answered, rubbing her calves. My legs don't work so good anymore. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a kiss on Aunt Sis's cheek. Now Jenna's dress needed three more rows. As sun arrived at mid-circle, Jenna skipped south to Mrs. Scott's brand new duplex. At Jenna's side, Jingles clanked. Mrs. Scott led Jenna into the kitchen. Once again, Jenna rolled dough and Mrs. Scott fried it. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Mrs. Scott's dress would lose its voice. You may, Mrs. Scott answered, tossing flour with her apron. At Pow Wow, I'll be busy selling fry bread and Indian tacos. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a high five. Now Jenna's dress needed two more rows. As sun caught a glimpse of moon, Jenna strolled west to cousin Elizabeth's apartment. At Jenna's side, jingles clanked. Elizabeth had arrived home late from the law firm. Once again, Jenna helped Elizabeth carry in her files. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Elizabeth's dress would lose its voice. You may, Elizabeth answered, burrowing through her messy closet for her jingle dress. This weekend, I'm working on a big case and can't go to powwow. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, clasping her cousin's hands. Now, Jenna's dress needed one more row of jingles, but she didn't know which way to turn. As moon glowed pale, Jenna shuffled north to Grandma Wolf's. At Jenna's side, jingles sat silent. High above, clouds wavered like worried ghosts. 
When Jenna tugged open the door, Jingle sang, tink, 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 tink. Grandma Wolf was jingle dancing on TV. Jenna breathed in every hey a ho of a powwow song. Her heart beat, vroom, 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 to the pounding of the drum. On family room carpet, beaded moccasins waited for Jenna's feet. She shucked off a sneaker and slipped on a moccasin that long before had danced with Grandma Wolf. Jenna knew where to find her fourth row. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Grandma Wolf's dress would lose its voice. You may, Grandma said with a hug. Now Jenna's dress could sing. Every night that week, Jenna helped Grandma Wolf sew on jingles and bring together the dance regalia. Every night, Jenna practiced her bounce step. Broom, 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 sounded the drum at the powwow the next weekend. As light blurred silver, Jenna jingle danced for great aunt sis whose legs ached. For Mrs. Scott, who sold fry bread. For Elizabeth, who worked on her big cakes. And for Grandma Wolf, who warmed like sun. Tink, 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 tink. The end.